I'm Corey. I'm Jillian. And we're living, living in, in Diz. Diz. We are here at the Taste of Epcot. It's the 25th anniversary of Food and Wine Festival. All under one tent or even one building. Wow. Yeah. We've got some of the best stuff ever here for the festival's 25 years. Let's go. Our first stop, festival favorites. Let's look at the menu. The menu carries three top items, kielbasa and potato pierogi from Poland, from Ireland, seafood fisherman's pie, and spinaca copita? Don't shoot me, don't at me. It's from Greece. Second stop, desserts and champagne. They've got some crazy desserts over here bunch of liquid nitro cake pops. What is that? I think we have to try one of those. That just sounds crazy. Coming up on our second to last stop, Apple Seed Orchard. Let's go see what they got. Charcuterie and cheese plate, caramel apple popcorn, and frozen apple pie. Anything apple is unbelievable. All of those have to be great. Here's our final stop, mac and cheese. This one sounds the best. We have gourmet mac and cheese, buffalo chicken mac and cheese, lobster mac and cheese, and regular mac and cheese. I'm excited, this sounds so delicious. I love how this year in all their artwork and animations, they are featuring Ratatouille characters, all chefs by the way, which I think is super, super cute and super, super cool. This looks absolutely delicious. So many people have been raving about this frozen apple pie drink. Let's get into it. The frozen apple pie drink. It smells amazing. Exactly, exactly like an apple pie. It's kind of scary. And it tastes like one too, as it should, but it seems way too accurate. What? That's insane. 4.5 Mickeys. That's insane. It's incredible. It is show-stopping. It is beautiful, and it is wondrous. On to the next reviewer. Next, we went with two mac and cheeses. On the left, we have lobster mac and cheese. On the right, we have buffalo mac and cheese. It looks unbelievable, and we're really excited to try it. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh -huh. Jill's going for it. Never had lobster. Digging right in with a nice big piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know we're in a time frame, right? I'm a... I wonder... I'm gonna just go in. Uh... I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I've never had I've never had lobster before. So. The lobster's okay. I'm pretty sure there's better lobster out there that I haven't tried. 
It's okay, but the mac and cheese is a banger. But I don't know if I would get this again. I think I would just get the mac and cheese by itself. So with that being said, I'm gonna rate it a... Let's give it a three because the mac and cheese is pretty good. I'm the type of guy that like, uh, won't just order seafood, but... I thought he was like, <laughs> is he making me laugh? Blue yeah, burrito. Okay. Oh, All right. It's the face, right? So, I've never had lobster. With mac and cheese, it sounded pretty good. I like seafood, but I'm the type that doesn't just go out and buy seafood for whatever reason. I'll end up with a steak or a burger or something like that. So, really excited to try this. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mm mm-hmm. Right away. Five out of five. Five out of five. The lobster on its own. It's good. I like it. I think that's a pretty good lobster. I haven't had a ton of lobster in my life, but if I was evaluating this lobster, I do like it. It's 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 got taste. It's got flavor. It's definitely full of flavor. And the mac and cheese on its own. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese on its own, which Jillian really raved about. That's the kind of make, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for in a mac and cheese. It's it's runny. It's cheesy. It's not dry. It's not stringy. That's really good. I definitely can't say enough about this and the combination of the lobster and and the mac and the cheese. Really, really good. This is a five out of five. We are on to the buffalo mac and cheese. I expect the mac and cheese to be cheesy and not stringy and all that other good stuff like what we just tasted. I like to try things separately and then combine them. So let's try the buffalo chicken and not really separate the mac and cheese, I guess, this time because we know what the mac and cheese is all about already. Confused? I'm not. Let's give this a try. So there's blue cheese on it too which I didn't realize. The blue cheese was really strong on a piece of mac and cheese. This is loaded. This is a loaded fork right here. A little bit of everything. We've got the mac and cheese, the blue cheese, and all of the buffalo chicken goodness. So first, I got the mac and cheese, because that's what hit my mouth first in the back. And then I got, separately, the blue cheese which is still really strong. I think I think Jacob said that this that overpowered the whole thing. It really did overpower it, and I had that as an aftertaste, kind of burning a little bit in the back. Well, I guess the burning is more of the buffalo sauce, but a, a, a strong, cheesy taste in my mouth. The buffalo sauce on its own was really good. Really, really tasty. These are two big hits, and I can see why they're here today at the Taste of Epcot, because these are definitely award-winning dishes. It's a decent amount of food. We paid about $6 or so. Uh, really, a winner, a winner all around. Pricing, the amount that you get, the taste. It's so full of taste, I cannot complain about these two things. I'm gonna give it another five. It's a five out of five, all the way around, with a four for our apple pie drink. So these are the nitro cake pops. They're usually steaming. We took a little too long to um, show you that, but that's okay. It looks really, really good, and we're about to dig into this. You know what this reminds me of? This one has M&Ms on it. It reminds me of a really light ring ding. This is like a ring ding on a stick. Really moist cake inside. Nice coating. It's melty. It's really good. That's another winner. It's cold, but moist. That's another winner. That's a five out of five right there. So now it's my turn to try this cake pop. Looks really good. So just like dad said, very moist cake. The um the coating is very chocolatey and it's good. And there's MMs on it. So it's really good. Um I think I'd rate it four out of five. It's really good. But I don't think it deserves it. 
smells like chocolate. It smells like Ghirardelli chocolate. Which means it's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm expecting. That might be good. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious, but I wouldn't say anything special. But it's definitely good. 3.5. I mean, it's something you could easily make at home as well. So I don't know if I would buy this again, just because it's so easy to make. But it's still good nonetheless. We really enjoyed our visit here to the 25th anniversary of the Taste of Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Everything we tried today was unbelievable. Delicious. Three mac and cheeses. Jillian actually tried the mac and cheese, which like is the, the gourmet mac and cheese. Mm. And how did it compare to the other ones that you tried, which was the lobster and the buffalo chicken? It's just better in my opinion because it's the classic, classy, beautiful, wondrous mac and cheese. You feel me? So, I like this a lot better. All the mac and cheeses were unbelievable. Our apple pie drink was unbelievable. All good stuff. Make sure you stop by here if you're making it to Epcot for the 25th anniversary. So for now, I'm Corey. I'm Julian. And we're living in Diz. We'll, we'll see, see you in the, the parks. parks. Wait, <laughs> my head was turned. Good, go for it. She's going for it. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh-huh. Jill's going for it. Never had lobster. Digging right in with a nice big piece. Yeah. <laughs> you know we're in a time frame, right? I'm a... I wonder... I'm gonna just go in, uh... I'm the type of guy. I'm that type of guy. Say so we think you love it. You, you, you already gave me good... You gave me good ideas to talk about, so just talk about it for a minute. I'll do a lap. Alright, bye! The toppings? Yes. You think? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But it was still really Oh awful. no. <gasps> oh my gosh. I pulled on it. I pulled what? on it. We're going to keep going. Okay, okay. We're going to keep we're, going. No, we got to cut.